Hi, I'm Ian Clark, and this is the fascinating story of iodine. Most people don't really realize what iodine means to this world or what it means to them personally, but I assure you, at the end of this short story, you're going to have a very deep understanding of how important iodine, the molecule, is to you personally, as well as to your family and to your entire environment around you. Iodine was first discovered in 1811, and then between 1830 and 1860, a whole lot of research revealed that people were generally overall iodine deficient, some lesser, some greater, and it was known that people who lived in large cities and ate more packaged food were having various issues that were showing up, which were mental disorders, were also endocrine disorders, which is your thyroid, your hormonal system, and your thyroid is affected greatly if you're iodine deficient. The thing that showed up back then was a big goiter. So people had goiters, people were in insane institutions, and when they found out that it was actually just as simple as an iodine deficiency, they looked for ways to get iodine to the world. Well, the easiest way they figured out back then was to put it in the form of potassium iodide, and they added potassium iodide to salt. They didn't add iodine to salt. They added potassium iodide to salt because everyone in the world loves salt and put salt in food cooking and on food for their dinners and whatever. And so when they put it into the salt in Europe, within 10 years, they noticed a marked change. The insane asylums were emptying out, which people were heavily affected from the iodine deficiency with their mental problems. Those things cleared up. They also noticed that all the goiters went away and people's metabolisms came up. Then one of the coolest things they noticed was that everyone's intelligence level went significantly up to where they equated iodine repletion, which is the opposite of iodine deficiency, with IQ. So people's IQs went up when they put iodine in their system. So when they had the potassium iodide in the salt, that goes into the body, goes into your bloodstream, goes through your thyroid, and your thyroid produces iodine molecules from the raw material iodide. So the T3 and T4 molecules are actual iodine molecules. So your body is amazing. It can take this iodide and convert it over to iodine, and then it goes in and it does all the wonderful things to balance your hormonal system, as well as supports your immune system, your endocrine system, your whole metabolism, and everything comes up. And then the other effect, which is the most fun thing, is it gives your intelligence a significant boost. So the opposite of that, if you are iodine deficient, then you are not as intelligent and you have different various issues that show up in your body. So iodine itself doesn't cure anything. It doesn't have, it's not a remedy. It's simply and only a raw material that your body requires. Just like you require food, you require different elements. Like you require magnesium, for example. If your magnesium is low, it affects 330 different biochemical reactions in your body. Iodine affects every cell in your body and every cellular function in your body because it is a required element. It's the most important element that there is in all of the creation for your body. So when they did this in 1890 in Europe and they mandated that all salt would have potassium iodide and everyone started to use that in the salt, of course, automatically, and all these changes happened, that was then noticed in North America. In North America, they started adding potassium iodide to salt, 1920, and that made a big shift in the United States and Canada. And then they also started putting iodide in bread and beer and various different things that people were consuming on an ongoing basis. Well, that was a significant upgrade. And if you look back at the early 1900s till the end of the 1900s, a huge amount of intelligence was revealed through all of the inventions with automobiles and air flight and space flight, all these things that happened as a result of people's intelligence going way up. Well, that was a fantastic movement. It was the largest international collaboration of countries to bring the health of the entire population up in the civilized countries that had this potassium iodide in the salt 
and it had this really beautiful surge effect on raising people's health up. Now, something happened that's rather unfortunate. In the 1970s and 1980s, salt began to be condemned because it, you know, salt was related to high blood pressure and salt was related to various other health issues. And so people started talking about low sodium diets. People moved away from table salt. They moved away from the iodized salt. And by then, <clears throat> people had forgotten about why iodized, iodized salt existed or why the potassium iodide was in salt. And then it was removed out of the bread and out of the beer and bromide was put in. Bromide goes and gets in the way of the receptor sites that your body would use to absorb the iodide or the iodine, whichever form it's going to come in, and ended up causing another series of health problems. Now, as time went on, all these different issues started to show up. There were some studies done in the early 2000s that showed uh, a young woman uh, going into adolescence at 10 to 12 years old, if she was iodine deficient, she had a great chance of forming fibroids, fibroid cysts or fibroid tumors, which could eventually go into breast cancers or ovarian cancer or various different things that happen to a woman who has these fibroids. Well, they found out that any woman young, you know, from 10 to 12 years and up, if they have a proper amount of iodine in their body, their body cannot form fibroids. But today, 44% of women in North America have fibroids, fibroid cysts, or fibroid tumors as a result of not knowing that iodine deficiency is a big issue. Another study showed that women who get pregnant and have a child will have a four times greater chance, it doesn't mean they're going to have it, but a four times greater chance of having an autistic child than not. So it just places the odds against the population. Now, people look for all kinds of other reasons why autism might show up, but it's something as simple as a deficiency of an element causes that, just like they found out about folic acid back in the day where they were having all kinds of different health issues with babies, and when the women started taking folic acid, those issues went away. The folic acid didn't cure anything. It was just simply missing. Just like the iodine doesn't cure anything, the iodide doesn't cure anything, it's just a missing element, and when it's missing, it causes a problem. When people are missing the amount of magnesium they require in their body, their brain doesn't function well. Their whole, I mean, there's 330 different biochemical reactions that are affected. Well, every reaction in your entire body, all of your cells are affected if you don't have enough iodine. So that's where the development started to come out. But the issue was is that iodine was not available in an easily delivered form. Iodine is, is always in different forms in either too much of a concentration or it has chemicals or solvents or toxins or plastics or something that is a complete undesirable and therefore people just never got into using it on a regular basis. And on top of that, very few people knew of the importance of it. And then when people shied away from salt and went to Himalayan salt or Celtic salt, well, none of those salts have iodine or iodide in them. And that then led to the furtherance of these issues coming up more and more. Well, very thankfully, there's been a huge breakthrough in iodine technology. And in the last 35 years, there's been a huge amount of research and development and then finally production of a very, very clean, pure, simple form of iodine molecule in distilled water, or what we will call an aqueous solution. Now, all the scientists back in the day said there's no way you can dissolve iodine molecules into water. It's just not possible. They had to use alcohols or they used plastics or they used solvents or they used some kind of chemical reaction to be able to make this, these iodine products. And then they were not safe to ingest. You could actually harm yourself significantly with them. Well, this new breakthrough, which we call perfect iodine, is, a, is a, the smallest size molecule. It's called a Dalton molecule. Now, if you think about the size of molecules, you can go micro, which is what you need a microscope to see, a nano molecule. Everybody's heard of nanoparticles. That requires a nanoscope. And then pico is a thousand times smaller than nano. So it goes micro, nano is a thousand times smaller than micro, pico is a thousand times smaller than nano. A Dalton molecule is so tiny 
that it is 12 points of the decimal place to the right of zero smaller than a pico. So I don't even know what that number is. It's just so, so tiny that the molecule itself, if you leave it out in the open, will just float up into the atmosphere immediately. It won't hang around at all. That's how small and light it is. Well, this technology that we have, which is called perfect iodine, allows these Dalton molecules to be infused and stabilized inside of an aqua aqueous solution and packaged so that you're, you're having just the tiniest microdose that you can possibly imagine. We're talking about micrograms. And just a few sprays of this in the mouth will provide 150 micrograms on a daily basis, which is the RDA, the recommended daily allowance and requirement for a human being of an average 150 pounds. So 150 pounds, 150 micrograms. So you can kind of do the weight adjustment from there. And it works for all ages, from a baby in the womb all the way through till elderly, until right at the end of life. Iodine is an essential element that helps your entire body work at a much higher level. And this is simply a micronutrient. There doesn't have to be any health claims around it because it's just an element that your body requires that you put in as a supplement in a very, very tiny amount. And it just helps the body to run every single system in your body runs better, whether it's digestive or respiratory or, or endocrine or circulatory or your brain functions, your vision, whatever. It just, your body works better when you have all the elements up at the right amount. It's like having your car with all the right amounts of fluids and they're, they're fresh and clean. It just, it's a happy running car. Your body becomes a happy running body when you have all the elements up. These elements don't cure anything. There's no health claims around them because how can you make a health claim around something that you're just missing? So when you add it into your body, it helps you function at the highest levels possible based upon the repletion and the proper amount of these molecules. So there are two forms. There is perfect iodine and there's perfect iodide. Now the perfect iodide is an interesting thing because that is what your thyroid requires is the iodide. So when you, if you spray iodide in your mouth, that immediately goes in and is used by your thyroid. Your thyroid converts that to iodine molecules, T3, T4, and again, does all these wonderful things in your body with your endocrine system, your brain function, your immune system, because that's what your body requires for fuel to run on. Now, if you use iodine, iodine will go in, react with bacteria, either in your mouth or if you swallow it in water, reacts with the bacteria of your gut. And when it reacts with that, then it converts over to iodide anyway and allows that iodide to be available in your bloodstream. So you can, and now the difference is, is that the iodine, once you open the bottle and put the little sprayer on it, it has a one month shelf stability. So you, you use it in one month anyway. So it's going to be fine. But if you let it sit around, it'll eventually deplete if you let it sit for longer than a month. Iodide is perfectly stable. It doesn't go anywhere. And it's clear and tasteless. Where the iodine has a beautiful, fresh taste to it, that's the only difference. So myself personally, I just use iodine because I like the taste of it. I like the way that it works. I spray it in my mouth or I drink it down in some water, whatever I want. But I noticed a significant improvement personally in my overall cognitive ability and just my overall body's energy. And my whole metabolism seemed to change. That's just simply by fueling my body up. Now, that's something that everyone I know experiences because it is, it is for every single person from every single age. And people can talk with their doctor about whether they think that there would be any problem with it or not. That's, that's between them and their doctor. We don't get involved because we're not doctors. And we don't get involved in arguments around that because all I know is everyone who has purchased this and used it has had a fantastic and beautiful result. And this is 35 years in development. So we have something very, very unique here that allows all of us to work at a higher level so that every human operating system that works in beautiful synergy with each other is just working at a level that I had never dreamed was possible before. I didn't realize that I was iodine deficient until I took iodine and put it in my body and that woke me up and taught me how important it was. I'd heard all kinds of things about iodine in the past, but it didn't, it didn't click with me 
until I actually had it in my system on a daily basis. Once I did that, my whole world changed. So we are releasing this product now in the form of a micronutrient, and we are very confident that everyone's lives will be significantly upgraded in many, many ways when they simply add this beautiful, affordable micronutrient into their life and allow them to have a much higher quality of life. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video and to watch what I have to say. And make sure you take advantage of the offers below. And remember that these simple things make all the difference in our lives. And this is the only place in the world where you're going to find iodine in its purest form. There's not a single toxin in there. There's no chemicals, no solvents. It is in a distilled water that is super purified before the iodine molecules are dissolved into it. And it just simply goes to work the very second you put it in your body because as soon as it goes in, it goes right to work because it can go everywhere and support your entire system. I noticed it took about one to two weeks where I had, I noticed a big upgrade in the first week, but by the end of the second week, that was a very, very big upgrade. So I'm very excited for you. And we have a limited supply right now, but we should be able to have more and more. Uh, this is something that you're going to want to have every day for the rest of your life. I don't want to have another day in my life where I don't have that in my, in my body on an ongoing basis. And you can do as much research as you want on iodine. There's, uh, I think it's the most scientifically studied in both medicine and natural alternative medicine in the world. The most studied. It has so much data on it. And you can find it for yourself what you... What, what I, you know, all the properties of iodine, which we're not going to get into in this video or on this page because we are simply providing it as a micronutrient, which we're so very thankful to have and very thankful for you. So make sure you take advantage again. Just click on the offers below and learn what I'm talking about by entering it into your system.